Hello, I'm Aaron, and welcome back to the Last Dan Gamers channel. So today we're taking a look at a really cool rover design from the Steam Workshop. This is, of course, a rescue platform, and it's using a mixture of both large and small ship blocks to bring us a really cool level of detail. So let's take a look around this rover. So the first thing that draws your eye to it is this really cool, unusual looking cockpit here at the front. It's also protected by these tire sort of barriers, maybe to stop things hitting it from when it's traveling through various different environments. And you can see it's got a cool little light bar there at the top. Over this side, we have a crane. You can see it's got a little claw-like design there for picking things up and moving things around. We'll have a look at that a little bit further. And as we come down here, you'll notice we've got flashing lights. Of course, this is a rescue rover. You need to see it coming and we've got two large spotlights on the other side as well as well as remote control blocks down there so we can control it we've also got this cool tire like rack tucked in this area i'm guessing you could grind the tires down and use them to assemble the larger tires if um, something happens to be broken let's continue working our way along this side first so along this side you'll notice that there is these windows and sort of a catwalk type system on the side here so we can have a quick peek into there we've got various different systems aboard the rescue rover to coordinate rescues and whatnot and as you can see these car containers along the top and we've got some oxygen tanks to create some detail down the side here now if we look into this area you'll notice that there is some hinges functioning here and we've actually got a little bit of a deployment platform that i'll have to show you in a little bit more detail as we continue moving through so you can see you've got the name of the rover there the prctl 2000 more tire racks to act as a bit of a protection and we've got the two rear wheels and a cool little catwalk on this side now coming around the back we've actually got this sort of a door that lowers itself down into position i don't think this is supposed to be lowered at the moment i feel like when i place this in it might have just fallen down We've got some rear blade lights and we've got an observation room on that side. Now it's pretty much identical on this side except this area has a different sort of catwalk overlook area that drops down into this, this little room right here. But we'll have a look inside. We've also got the crane up on the top here complete with its little claw. So you can see this is actually connected up on two pistons and you've got a hinge over here. So it is functional. You could actually claw something with this. It just depends if the arm can actually reach out and touch it so you can see there's some extension joints here so it can extend out let's have a little bit of a play with it and then we'll go inside i'm going to break this 100 percent so let's see if we can get ourselves some controls we can have a look we have got um dj big D okay we don't we don't know what the hell these are going to do we, we, they're not very well labeled so okay we've got the crane raise up we have got the counterweight rotation that's quite cool you can see that the bat rotating its position we have got number three that rotates it out. Why would you rotate it out? That way there is a... There's a I don't know if this has been very well thought out of. There's, a, there's an antenna there on the side that kind of blocks it. So then we've got four. What exactly does that do? Oh, this raises it up? Will this clear the antenna? I'm not too sure. We've also got the final one that is DJ Big CO2. Don't, don't have a clue. Well, that's going to do. Okay, so don't raise it up far enough. And then we've got number five here that extends the crane out. So what sort of extension do we get on the crane? Because we don't get too much extension down. All right, so maybe, maybe it's enough to load something from a platform on the side. But that antenna there is on the way. So that's not been really thought out of too well. So let's um, hit all the keys and stow it away. So it's got quite a nice little stow cycle there. Very cool indeed. I like the idea of a crane, on, a crane on rovers. I just feel like it's been a bit of an overlook having that antenna there on the side. So let's continue having a bit more of a mess. So if we drop down underneath here, we've not really seen too much of the underneath. You can see these these cool little cryopods that look like they could almost drop out the bottom there. We'll see a little bit more when we go inside. And then we've got the main underneath compartment, complete with some oxygen tanks for a bit of detailing and a bit of underneath engine. So let's pop over here, drop our character in, and you'll notice there's this strange button panel that's just floating right here. What could this possibly do? So as we hit this, you'll notice this platform extends down. Now, if you hit the buttons out of sequence, you're really not supposed to. You can break this very quickly, so be very careful if you're using this. Look at this. This is awesome. I like little elevator systems like that. It's really funky. So that lowers down like that. You've got the blue button. I believe that drops it down. You can also see the buttons retracted up there. And we're going to use this little lift to get ourselves back up. So let's hit that key. 
and there's our little character moving up so this is a combination of both rotors hinges and pistons a recipe for clank you can see how they fold in here into this area to bring it up that final way but it certainly is awesome isn't it how that works so back over to our character we're going to head this way first so entering into here we have ourselves this little airlock that takes us into a lovely sleeping area complete with these decorative beds and a med kit there coming over it we've got more of these little decorative areas we've actually got a little airlock that takes you into the cryo cells so if we actually hit this button we can lower the cryo beds down to the planet's surface let me see if i can get the camera over there quick enough so there's the cryo bed lowering system so i guess you could deploy characters over there if you wanted to let's pop ourselves out of there at the moment and let's uh retract this back up okay it's a cool little way another cool way of getting inside the ship i don't know if you'd use it for that you can see the cryo cell going back up there so there's three of these seats you can maybe use it as something to prepare you before you go down to the planet's surface so we're back inside now we'll turn our little headlamp on and we've got another little door here on the side if we can just navigate around the cryopods. This leads us, of course, onto the outside. We've got a really nice catwalk so we can navigate this without a jetpack. We've got a little bit of a warning sign above this door. And you can see how some of the areas are being connected up between the large and small ship blocks. And we're actually now in the rear hangar. This door looks a little bit fussy to close. So you've got the rescue rover there that's fully equipped for whatever medical mission you may be on. You've got these cool little ramps along the side here. If we just access one. If it, if it decides to work let me just make sure that's the, the right key okay i'm not too sure if that's the right button for this one these could be detailed oh there we go that one extends it down so you've got the ramp so you can lower and raise things up from that area we've also got these deployable ladders that i really think are cool i'm going to get the camera in the right place for these so you can see them straight away so we're on that side of the ship and you can see the little ladder dangles below here so if i hit that you can see the little escape ladder or entry ladder deploys down it connects up and you can actually use it to climb up onto the ship if you wish to so let's hit that key raise that ladder up so there's lots of cool little mechanical items like this we've also got the ramp here on the back let's just make sure okay so that's ramp extension and retraction we're gonna have to make sure we get these keys the right way around and i'm guessing this one is close yes it is so it's a nice solid ramp design that it's got that little interlocking latch there at the top as well so let's have a quick look around this cargo bay so we've got a welding system up on the top here that looks quite complicated we've also got a connection point over here as well that'll be interesting to see how that works if this welder can actually maintain or, or do anything is there any controls for it we've also got a landing gear here so you could lock different modules to this if you needed to some nice little bits of iconry around here and we've got this button what does this do so this tr has triggered something inside oh an elevator that's cool i didn't expect that for some reason let's have a quick look at this so this little elevator takes us up to the maybe a cargo bay oh or the upper floor area so we've got the ramp here that lowers down to the other area or raises up through the ceiling wow there's, there's so many mechanics in this this thing is asking for clang though i am very worried about it let's um find the button panels for operating this system and we've got folding out bits on the side look at that that's great let's have a quick look at this catwalk over here it feels much bigger inside that's a little bit of a way to get up onto the roof if we need to let's close that up behind yeah so that's just like a little window or shooting point at the back there now we've got this system to activate i'm just trying to see what this does is this another the same one again yeah same as the other side this is interesting so that raises up to the ceiling let's get on the top here and have a look so it raises to the ceiling and nothing happens oh yes it's opening up that one retracts into that area this opens up i'm not sure if that's how that works because oh oh things are popping out what's that for is this for a is it a landing pad because if you push this up it would crash wouldn't it crash into the ceiling let's try retracting it down and now you'd hope that this platform would recede before the others wouldn't you no it, it would just crush what's ever on top of it surely it's cool though but i'm, I'm not too sure about its functionality and then does this lower section low, lower back down is this a crusher 
I'm not too sure. I'm a little lost with that one. You'll have to let me know in the comment section what you think that's used for. There's no writing either. So let's um, continue on a look around. We've got another little interesting loading bay slash locking system over here as well. That cockpit doesn't do anything. Let's have a look at that one. Just seeing if these control anything either. So we've got one there. We've got one of the doors over that side. Maybe if we head out to the side we can get a better look at it. See exactly what it's going to do. So it's definitely a ramp system or a doorway of some kind. It's just what what does it do? What benefit would it give you access to that area? Could you get a ship in perhaps for it? Not too sure. Is there any buttons around this side? No. So I'm not too sure about that door for the moment. But let's um, try to get ourselves back down to the lower decks. We can have a quick drive off of this rover as well. See exactly how it disconnects. Oh, that's the ladder access. And for rover access, we come around the side. We've got this little door. We've got, of course, a rotating chair. And we've got a cockpit or anything else in these areas. So this is like a storage bed sleeping area for various different patrols as you go out. Cool dude. Let's jump down here. So we've got a little medical. Yep, full medically equipped. We've got seats, chairs, everything we need. A nice little bit of detail in colour. Bathroom, of course. And as this leads through, we've got our cryo sort of scanning area down the corridor and we're back into the front where we were at before so let's just head back around and just double check so that'll take us back down there we've got these catwalk areas you see above me as well we've got like a compact engine and charging room in this section you can see this is on the large grid so this is why it looks a little bit strange with that staircase around the side oh here's the staircase so as we plod up into here we've got like a computer car room a cool little exterior there let's check some of these rooms so are these like little, oh, it's more bunk, bunk rooms and another button. Let's hit the button and see. So that extends down to, oh, the deck that we were just on. Very cool. So there's lots of elevators, buttons and things, and lots of things that could also break. So I don't know if it'd be the most functional one in survival. It certainly is cool. So let's head up to the next deck. Oh, I wonder what another door here. So I'm quick checking here. So this looks like it's another bunk toilet little rec room maybe a lounge some storage containers over in that direction and then we'll head up to this deck so we have a control room over here what's this oh just a light switch we've got a load of seats over on that side we've got a control chair with quite a nice little cockpit layout here but i think we're going to have to activate that to get this moving so let's give it a little bit of a drive what i have found without using our quality of life mod for wheels is rovers especially the large variety are very very sluggish i feel like with a wheel of this size and a motor you'd have a lot more performance but you can see it's pulling its weight along quite well nice little dish there on the side i could definitely imagine doing some rescue operations with this just needs a few of the features maybe adjusting or thinking about especially with the crane with that signal okay let's hop ourselves out of that and as we are heading to our doom that we probably don't want to be doing We'll have a quick look around. So we've got the upper deck that crawls into this area. Is this, is this pool table? No, it's not. It's some sort of system freed out. We've got access to the crane over on that side. We're going straight into these rocks by the look of it. And that is access to there. Ladder goes up. We've got more seating. God, they're expecting to rescue a lot of people. And then we've got another command seat. So this could be another driver station. Or is this an operating station? We've got cook. Like labeling controls like this is, is really not helping me so I'm activating some of the hinges oh so this is a module that extends out this is the side part very nice let's hit the brakes and have a look at that what the hell is that what is that thing that's folding out here and is it going to clip with the radar dish up there at the top oh no Is this is this a walker of some kind? I'm not liking the look of this. Okay, so that's folded out. Oh, it's a cooking station. That's what cook means. It, it's a fold-out kitchen. <laughs> oh, well, that that that's an in an interesting addition. A lot of complexity for a fold-out kitchen there, but you know, full full respect. Okay, so what else have we got here? We've got more cooking options. So we've got number three. What does that do? That rotates in the round. I hope it's not wedged into the ground. Okay. And does does this retract safely? Oh no, it's wedged into the ground. This is not going well for us. Let's just extend that back out. We'll we'll leave that there. Uh, so that seat controls the cooking station, a very important position. 
This one? What is this? This is the control. DJ Big One. What does that control? Oh! Hold on! All of a sudden, the antenna's now folded out the way! This, this so, this, see, there's so many hinges in this thing. It is very complicated. This needs a full in-depth instruction manual. Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Definitely check the link out to this design in the description below. You're going to find some things that I've missed on this one. Oh, it looks like the antenna did kind of move out of the way a little bit. But anyway, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time.